Hi, my name is Uchiri. This channel is all about fun art challenges. I hope through these challenges I can improve my art skill and share my journey with you. For today's challenge, as I failed making a Spotify plaque with Posca pens on plexiglass last time, I wanted to do it better using actual glass because in my head it looks so cool and if I'm successful, I think it would make a great gift. Let me show you what I made this time first. Unlike last time, I simplified the project and went with a single layer and also used my Cricut machine for crisp outlines. Doesn't it look pretty nice? And it sounds like it was pretty easy, right? Right? Let's see how I made it. You'll see why I wasn't able to upload my video for a long time. To begin with, I drew the Totoro image and Spotify plaque information digitally and used the Cricut machine. Yeah, I feel like I kind of cheated, but I was determined to make something super nice, especially after the last plaque. And now I'm removing the unnecessary parts of the stencil sheet. Did you notice? I already made my first mistake here. I forgot to flip the picture. After I fixed the mistake, I was finally able to weed out the unneeded parts. Here, I'm using removable vinyl instead of stencil vinyl to give it a try. Okay. Let's apply the vinyl to the glass. I'm only using one layer of glass this time, but I bought three glasses. It was about $2 from Home Depot and sometimes it's already cracked so I wanted to ensure at least I have one clean sheet. This was how much I was determined to make something cool. I took out the unnecessary parts of the vinyl before applying it on the glass, but I think it was easier if I removed them after applying it to the glass. I'll be sure to do it if there's a next time. Then, I quickly filled the black color outlines using Liquitex Basics paint and peeled the vinyl. Hmm. Wait, what happened? Did you know it's easier if you weed out the unnecessary parts after applying it on the glass? The removable vinyl was hard to remove for this use and ended up peeling off most of the painted parts. So I completely started over, but this time I used stencil vinyl for both. It worked better, and now to apply the black paint. Wow, it's crispy clean, isn't it? Well, this outline is done by a lacquer spray paint. The Liquitex paint seems to be dissolving even the dried layers, and the paint colors mixed up with the black outlines, so I ended up doing it again and used the spray paint for at least the outlines. Now, no, don't worry. I can make everything so clean. So I made sure I applied a thick enough coat to make it look flat. By the way, thank you for coming back to my video. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for checking me out. I'm sorry I haven't updated as often, but I struggled a lot with this project. I kept failing making this and doing it again and again. I actually spent all of my days off on this project and it's been three weeks by this time. And it seems like I can finally finish it, right? Here we go. Let's start over. Like I said, Liquitex Basics dissolves the previous layer of Liquitex. So, lighter colors, especially white, ended up uneven. And since I wanted to make the perfect Spotify plaque, after I sprayed the outlines, I also sprayed the white part of the bottom half. Also, at this time, I used the cheap acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby. This one doesn't have as vivid colors as Liquitex, but it doesn't dissolve the previous layer as much. So it helped me a lot to lay a decent amount of paint on the glass. There were so many mistakes and I ruined most of my days off, but I finally... Nope. Like I said, I wanted to make this project perfect and the border between the white plaque and the non-painted part bothered me as I accidentally scratched some of the white paint off. Then I thought I can use masking tape and spray white paint over again and it also might protect the acrylic paint layer too. As it's the back side, I didn't mind how nicely I can spray on the glass, so I sprayed plenty to fill the edge gaps. And you know what? The lacquer spray dissolved too. It seems like for surfaces where spray paint can't be absorbed like glass, this thing happens and I had to scrape the spray paint off and do it again. But you've already seen the same scene enough, so I'll skip the process and... Here's the final product. It's not perfect, but I think it's good enough for this time. It took me like a month to make, even though it was only going to be a day project, but I feel like I learned a lot from this project. Let me summarize the key points that I found, so you guys can do the same thing, but much faster. 
first, if you want to use a Cricut machine, I recommend a stencil vinyl for masking out your project. It's much easier to remove after the paint and spray dries. And weed out the unneeded parts after applying it to the glass. It's much easier and faster. Regardless if you are using a cutting machine or not, if you use a type of masking, keep in mind when applying a thick layer of paint, it's difficult to find one to remove the masking tape for small pieces. If you remove it when the paint is halfway dry, it makes the paint bleed into where you originally masked it. But if you wait for it to completely dry, it peels important parts too, like you see with mine. Putting extra cutout lines on the large masking area also helps when you peel off the masking tape. Next, some acrylic paints like Liquitex Basics dissolve the previous layer and colors will mix, so be sure to test your paint on glass before using it. It's way different from painting on paper. In addition, for those who want to use a lacquer spray paint, lacquer dissolves too. To prevent it, I sprayed it in very thin layers on a sunny day so that the lacquer would dry before dissolving. Lastly, even if you mess up, with glass you can always scrape off the messed up paint, so don't throw it away, just clean it. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video and would like to see more like this, please like or leave a comment below. And if you really liked the video, please subscribe. See you next time.